Welcome back, everybody, to my three-in-one birthday special for Scott Weiner, Jody Benson, and Henry Winkler, in which we're going to keep the fun and games moving with Jeopardy featuring Alex Trebek for the dog. Let's see how it goes, shall we? All right, JPD, go, go, go down a little bit. There we go. Here we go. Let's have a good game. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll say we'll do intermediate. I'm returning. We'll use the inner key to buzz in. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Thank you. Here we go, round one. One daily double will appear on the board in these categories. We have U.S. history, fictional characters, four-letter words, explorers, weapons, and finally... Salad. Okay, I can deal with these categories. I will not change them. I'm going to start things off with explorers for 100. He went from Palestine to Kublai Khan's palace by camel. Ooh. Scarlet O'Hare? No way. No. I'll try it. Who is Marco Polo? Yes. All right. Um, I'll take Explorers for 200. DeSoto, discoverer of this major U.S. river, was buried by it. What is the Mississippi? You are correct. Explorers for 300. Eric the Red called his discovery this to attract settlers. What is Greenland? You are correct. Explorers 400. Danish captain hired by Russia who made a straight line to Alaska. Who is Vitus Bering? Yes. I'll take Explorers for 500. English explorer and translator of the Kuma Kama Sutra. He shared his name with the late Welsh actor. Who is Richard Burton? You are correct. Ran the category. 1500 bucks. We're off to a great start. Let's keep it going. I will take fictional characters for 100. At the start of the 1885 novel, he's living with the widow Douglas and her sister, Miss Watson, who is Huckleberry Finn. You are correct. Fictional characters, 200. George Babbitt works in this field in Zenith, the Zip City. Cosmo no? Slavery? No. Uh-uh. The correct response is real estate. Oh, I was thinking that, but I didn't want to buzz in. Fictional characters, 300. Squire Trelawney hired him to be the cook on the Hispaniola. Who is Jim Hawkins? No.
Ernest Tubb. No, sorry, that was oh. wrong. The correct response is Long John Silver. That's okay. Um, fictional characters for 400. Author H. Ryder Haggard said this English explorer searching for King Solomon's Mines. Who is Sir Francis Drake? No, sorry, that is wrong. How about it, Cosmo? He doesn't know. No. So far, my opponents have yet to get a single clue right. The correct response is... Alan Quartermain. Alan Quartermain. Uh, let's get official characters out of the way. Let's close it up. Character who relates the detective story, the sign of four. Idi Amin? No. No. The correct response is Dr. John Watson. All right. Let's take four little words for a hundred. It can proceed storm, Mary, or to the chief. What is hail? That's it. Four little words for two. The triangle used to set up the balls at a pool game. What is a rack? You are correct. Four little words for 300. Melt. What is thaw? You are correct. Four little words, 400. To the British, when followed by up, it's a verb meaning to make a phone call. What is ring? Right. Four little words, 500. From Latin for shortened, it's being short with someone. What is Kurt? Right. Two categories I ran. All right, let's go to the next one. I will choose salad for 100. The name of this salad comes from the Dutch for cabbage salad. What is coleslaw? Right. Salad for 200. Many molded salads depend on this basic ingredient to hold their shape. What is gelatin? Right. Salad for three. The German version of this popular salad contains bacon and vinegar and is often served hot. What is potato salad? That's it. Uh, let's take salad for four. Used to season salads, a chapon is a dry crust of bread rubbed with this. What is garlic? You are correct. Salad for 500. This salad dressing was named for a region shared by New York State and Ontario. What is Thousand Island? 
That's it. Ran the salad category. So that's three categories I've ran completely. U.S. History 100. Ran some money found in Bruno Hopman's garage helped convict him of kidnapping this man's son. Who is Charles Lindbergh? Right. U.S. History 200. He became FBI director way back in 1924 and held the post for 48 years. Who is J. Edgar Hoover? Right. U.S. History 300. On October 4, 1957, the Soviets launched Sputnik while he became Team 3 Union President. Who is Jimmy Hoffa? Yes. U.S. History 400. The answer there is the Daily Double. Okay. Uh, all in. All right, for $9,000 or nothing at all, here's the clue in U.S. history. From Latin for money, the first one was authorized by Congress on April 2nd, 1792. Was the Treasury? No. It's not? Or is it the Mint? The correct response is... The U.S. Mint. Uh, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. It's okay. We'll get it all back. He founded Savannah in 1733. In fact, he founded the whole colony of Georgia. James Oglethorpe. That's it. There you go. Okay. U.S. ICBM with 10 warheads. It's known by its initials, which stand for Missile Experimental. What is MX? Right. 200. He designed the first steam warship, the Demologus, for the War of 1812. Who was Robert Fulton? You are correct. 300. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of Ringling Brothers Clown College, 120 clowns threw 500 of these at each other. What are pies? You are correct. 400. Equipment used by 1984 Olympic champ Daryl Pace that has counterweights and tension regulators. No. Oh. That can't be right. The correct response is a bow. All right, now the last clue. Old name for a shotgun that reflects its use, shooting birds. What is a skeet shooter? No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Um, uh, just go with it. No? Yeah. No, sorry, that is wrong.
The correct response is a Fallon piece. The double Jeopardy round. So here we go. Let's do it. Two daily doubles to help you in one of these categories. For double Jeopardy, we have bodies of water, geography, if words could kill, fish, games, and finally, hunting. I like these categories. I'm feeling good, but I don't go first. Cosmo does because he's deep in the hole. Words could kill 200. New York newspaper that prints a weekly bestseller list. What's the times? Right. If words could kill for 400. I'm in the lead with $100. And I'm, well, now 300 because I'm the only player with any cash right now. Let's keep it going. we got to make a comeback. Author of bestsellers The Firm and The Pelican Brief. Who is John Grisham? You are correct. If words could kill for 600, please. Author of bestsellers, H is for homicide and I is for innocent. Sue Grafton? You are correct. Yeah. Staying with the category. Author of bestseller, oh, the places you'll go. Um, who is Dr. Seuss? Yes. Uh, words could kill for a thousand. Author of bestseller, all I really need to know I learned in kindergarten. Victor Borge. No. No way. The correct response is... We're looking for Robert Fulgham. Robert Fulgham. All right. Let's go ahead and change feet. I'll take uh, Bodies of Water for 200. Originally at Lewiston, New York, this falls has moved seven miles upstream... What is Niagara Falls? Right. A body's water for 400? While Thatcher looks over Parliament, Parliament looks over this. What is the Thames? You are correct. Uh, body's water for six. Hoover Dam gives us this Nevada Lake. What is Lake Mead? Right. Bodies of water for 800. Now we're starting to build back up. After losing it all in the Daily Double uh, in the Jeopardy round. The only one of the five Great Lakes entirely in the U.S. What is Lake Michigan? That's it. Bodies of water, 1,000. You can bet on the, lake, the banks of this lake between California and Nevada. What is Lake Tahoe? Yes. And all the money we lost on the Daily Double, we got it all back. $4,500 right now. I'm going to take fish for 200 Sardines were named for this Italian island where they were first caught. What is Sardinia? That's it. Fish for 400. It's believed that this sense leads spotting salmon back to the same stream where they hatched. What is sight? No. Ah.
Drizzle, no. No. Queens, no. Oh. The correct response is smell. All right. I'll take um, fish for 600. The answer there is the daily double. Let's try it again. For $8,600 or once again, nothing at all. Both of these move to topside as the adult mature flounders. What are the eyes? Yes. Here we go. $8,600 I have right now. Let's keep it going uh, for 800, please, in uh, fish. Of herbivores, omnivores, or carnivores, most fish are these. For omnivores? No. Uh. No. Carnivores. You are correct. Geography 200. There are nearly 13,000 people per square mile in this Southeast Asian British colony. Um, what is Singapore? No, sorry, that is wrong. Ugh. <laughs> Hong Kong, the other one. You are correct. It was a toss up between the two. Cosmo and Josh were still uh, deep in the negatives. What a Swiss state is called. Uh, what is the Canton? You are correct. Uh, geography for 600. Actually, no, uh, I'm gonna change that. Can we go back to fish for a thousand? I want fish for a thousand instead. The bluefin is the largest species of this food fish. What's the tuna? You are correct. Land's End is the westernmost point of this country. What is England? You are correct. Geography for 800. Country where you'd find Kal Kalgoorlie, Ballarat, and Toowoomba. What is Australia? Right. Geography 1000. Most of Zorba the Greek takes place on this largest Greek isle. Uh, what is Rhodes? No. Oh, it's Crete, the other one. Right. Mumblety Peg is played by throwing this implement. What is a pocket knife? Yes. Uh, games for 400.
In Monopoly, Atlantic Avenue is yellow and Pacific Avenue is this color. <laughs> what is green? Yes. Mono uh, Game for 600. And I should know. I play Monopoly a lot, especially Monopoly Party on the PS2 and now the GameCube. In a Pinocchio deck, each of the four suits has this many cards. Um, what is 12? Right. Games for 6? Or 800, I mean? Board game in which a player can create a prime, a barrier of 6 points in which an opponent cannot pass. What is... Baccarat? No. Oh, no. Geology? No, sorry, that is wrong. The correct response is... Oh, backgammon. I don't know why I was thinking Baccarat. It's backgammon. Author J.R.R. Tolkien helped inspire Gary Gyrax and Dave Arneson to invent this role-playing game. What is Dungeons and Dragons? You are correct. Uh, let's do hunting for 200. Dog breed used to flush rabbits from cover, though Snoopy prefers big game. Uh, what are beagles? That's it. The doll, stone, and desert bighorn are a North American species of this game animal. What's the sheep? You are correct. Snares, pitfalls, and baits are used in this very old method of hunting. Was trapping? Right. Hunting eight? After the kill, you do this to game with a knife, not high heels and an evening gown. What is dressing? That's it. And the last clue is all mine because it is the other daily double. The answer there is the daily double. You know the drill. These aiming lines in a scope are sometimes made of spider web or crosshairs. Yes. So I have $25,600 and I'm the only player left for Final Jeopardy. Cosmo and Josh are going home. Here is today's Final Jeopardy category. Wars. All right. Final Jeopardy answer is... The only time a U.S. president personally led troops in battle while in office was during this war. What did you put down as your response? The War of 1812. You are correct. So I end up with 51,199 dollars. And I'm going to see you all for another game immediately following this break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 